So knowing that the vetting was coming up, I had booked in a lesson with Alex Wyatt, who I've been having lessons with every kind of couple of weeks. And this actually happened to fall the day before my viewing of Harley, which was nice because I was going to Harley on my own. My coach couldn't come with me. And Alex said, do you want to do dressage or do you want to jump? And I said, oh, I think we ought to jump because I have a viewing tomorrow. And I rode this lovely seven-year-old mare called Thule and we ended up finishing up over, I think it was like 80 centimetres and an oxer. And I just walked away feeling super, super confident. She was super rhythmical and I just felt really good before the viewing. I haven't shared clips from my lessons previously and that was quite deliberate. I think I've shared a couple of selfies, but these lessons were really important to me personally. Um, there was a long time where I wasn't sure that I wanted to ride again and, and own again and so I felt very strongly that these had to be private moments for me to kind of quote unquote walk back to the sport that I love and, and now I feel really happy sharing these clips with you so it was a big moment in a lot of ways. So then came the viewing itself. Uh, he was quite local, so my coach and I had planned originally to go together, but we couldn't get our diaries to align, so we agreed that I would go and try Harley, and then if I liked him, my, my coach would go and sit on him a few days later. So Harley is a five-year-old pure Irish draft. He was originally bought for somebody to do dressage with, but they ended up being not quite the right fit for one another. So here he was based with um, some people who'd been taking him out and doing a little bit of show jumping. They'd recently done sort of like a British novice level show jumping round on him. So that was pretty cool. So obviously we had lots of conversations on the phone when I got there. I had a look at him in the stable and then trotted him up and did all that. And then the guy got on him. And then this is me on him. And yes, OK, he is only five and he's riding a little bit short up front. And there are things that we would change. But for a first ride, I just thought he felt incredible like the most wonderful paces and obviously I um I don't know if I've told you about my goals I don't think I want to event anymore I don't know why I ever thought I would event to be honest and I'm sure some of you will laugh at that because goodness knows I'm not brave really um so I would like to do BD I'd like to do you know prelim novice I actually think Harley maybe have the talent for elementary I'm not sure I do but we'll see um so I'd like to do low level BD and then I'm looking for a horse I can do riding club level stuff with so obviously I'd like to do fun rides hunter trials I might do the odd unaffiliated one day event so that kind of thing was really important to me and I think what I found really exciting about Harley is, yes, he was green in areas, but I felt very safe. Um, and he ha felt to me quite different to Woody in terms of his jumping. He was quite gutsy, like he's quite independently minded. He doesn't need you too much to kind of reassure him all the time, which I thought for his age was really fantastic. And I think if I were on my own, I definitely wouldn't buy him. But I think because I have my coach for support... I felt really, really good about producing him with her and what a wonderful journey that could be for us. Um, so after I had a ride on him, I had a jump, they let me walk him out down the road on my own and I, you know, I stopped him and I started and I turned him around, then I turned him around again, then I turned him around again and he was just perfect and I really couldn't fault him. So obviously my coach then went to see him and she also loved him. So yeah. Today is a very important day nerve-wracking day today we're vetting at 10 30 it is half past seven i am very nervous very nervous um and i'm feeling a little bit emotional i think um i don't know if you could call it trauma maybe but you know obviously with everything that happened previously i think that my uh paranoia level is high um i'm nervous you know this is a big undertaking big financial undertaking and i really really like this young horse um and the only way that you'll get to see this video is, is of course if the viewing is successful the vetting is successful so hopefully you will um but i'm really 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 hoping that nothing shows up um, because he is so lovely and I so want you to meet him. I just think he's the most wonderful young horse. So, yeah. Annoyingly, I can't leave the audio on this because there is a song from Instagram in the background and I can't separate the two, but you can read the captions if you want. I just want to show you this to show you the first time that I noticed that Robins were showing up and they, they showed up on a really hard day with Woody and I in a way that was so close and so in your face and then they just kept appearing so they kept coming and hand grazing with us and it was just these really lovely moments and I'm sure that some of you are aware of like 
um, the spiritual symbolism of robins, of, you know, people that have passed and are sending us messages. And I want to show you this because it is important for the vetting. So I show you all of that because when I arrived for the vetting, I went into the barn to say good morning to Harley and to the cellar and there was a robin waiting on the stable and for me it was a really special moment and it felt perhaps like, you know, the seal of approval um, and perhaps from Woody, you know, giving me the go ahead. So it was a really special moment for me and I wanted to share. The x-rays are happening in the barn behind me and because I don't have x-ray suit stuff I can't be in there we're almost at the end of the x-rays and so far everything is looking good vetting has five stage vetting was fine I feel sick I feel sick I'm quite excited but I mostly feel sick <laughs> As I was pacing around the barn, I noticed that the robin was back and that felt very nice. Felt like he was also looking over proceedings and like making sure that I wasn't going to in my head. So it's a couple of days later now. Obviously, I bought Harley after the vetting. Um, I have just come to my local feed shop to pick up some British horse feeds, uh, Speedy Beat, because obviously Harley's had a lot of change being with where he is now where he was before we're about, we're about to move him again and so I just want to make sure that we like cover his gut um for when he first arrives in case any of that stress has caused any problems I've no reason to believe whatsoever that there are any problems going on in his gut but I am trying to be as preventative as possible so I've just ordered it at the front desk and they actually go and get it for you and then bring it out to your car which is very nice so just make some space for it there it is it's in the car there is um, a tack shop like next door to this. I'm not even going to go in. I'm not even going to go in because I know that he comes with a head collar. And we actually haven't spoken about this, but let's speak about it now because it's worth. There's no time like the present, etc. There was a period where I spoke a little bit about on several channels, not knowing. I think it was on YouTube actually. It was during the Gatcombe course walk not knowing what my what of my equipment I was going to share with the new horse and what I wasn't. In terms of equipment, there is some equipment that I will use, I imagine, if it fits. So I haven't made my mind about the bridle yet, but I think rugs, grooming kit, things like that, numbers. And then there's some equipment that will never touch another horse, like his head collar. I know that I'm never going to share Woody's Odevard head collar because my associations with that are for, for him. But actually... Harley was the first horse that I tried and kind of got close to purchasing that I thought actually I wouldn't mind him wearing Woody's saddle, Woody's rugs, Woody's bridle, Woody's bits and bobs and for me that was quite a big moment. Um, I don't know why, I don't know if it's because he's like a baby or if it's just because I feel like they're right or because I felt like I had like a sign from Woody, you know, whether I felt like that, I don't know but um, as it turns out, I think they are actually the same rug size, which is sort of quite handy in some ways and quite nice. Um, it feels less like a betrayal than it did maybe three months ago and more like um, honouring him. It's weird. Grief is a weird thing. I've arrived at the yard. It's nice and quiet because it's the middle of the day. I'm just dropping off a card and some bits for my coach um, because she's been so incredible, as she always is. And then go and have a look at the stable do a couple of work calls while I'm here and then wait for the boy to arrive I can definitely feel the chill October is in the air here we are in the box it's funny I had um, a big discussion with Hannah yesterday well not a big discussion she asked me yesterday if I wanted this box or if I wanted a different one. But I felt, at least for now, I might change my mind, but I felt that I wanted it to be in here. Um, I used to find this box really painful to be in. Um, but more recently, when I come to the yard to visit friends, I come in here when I want to feel closer to him, which sounds weird, I'm sure, to some people. But I do think it's really important to show 
this side of buying a new horse because some people might think that they shouldn't feel any feelings about a horse that they've lost or a horse that they've sold when they get a new one and I don't think that's true you know gosh I am so excited I'm so excited I can't wait for him to arrive but of course you feel those sorts of strange feelings too of course you do I think that's completely normal so yeah but I'm you know it looks really lovely and fluffy and I'm just excited to have him here now and you know start a new chapter I think Woody would be proud and I really want to honour him in the way that I have Harley so here he is he's arrived yes you're settled he's a good boy So this is Harley, my little new baby. Um, I'm not going to do too much here because we're going to let him settle. He's just taking his pants out to set the bar. Um, but we will see you soon on the channel. Um, it won't be once a week because I think that's still a bit intense for me. But we'll certainly be back with some adventures as we settle in. So stay tuned and thanks for watching. See you soon.